You know you're gonna get a bite. Now let me tell you guys, there is nothing quite like this. Zucchini from our garden, battered in eggs from our chickens, ketchup from tomatoes we harvested. No. Just kidding, the ketchup. <laughs> This is a... We're not we're not quite there yet. <laughs> well, I think it's about time we got started on our rainwater collection system, our official rainwater collection system for the workshop. So, where can I where can I sit on? Oh, you can just stand on any beam. I might want to sit. All right. For now. So there's this saying. I don't know where it came from, but I heard it the other day. And it's the first house you build, built for your enemy. The second house you build, built for your friend. And the third house you build, built for yourself. And we're basically doing that, except for our first house is a workshop. The second house will be Rodrigo's, and the third one will be ours. Yeah. So the reason you build the first one for your enemy is you're just bound to make a ton of mistakes. Okay, let's see how it fits. So while George's up here welding, I want to show you guys kind of what we're doing. So this carriola on the outside, it's actually supposed to be facing inwards so that you don't see the opening of the carriola. The carriola is shaped like this and it's like this. So we're basically putting a face plate over the whole outside so that we can attach the gutter and then also so that it looks a little bit better. amazing weather. It's been super super dry. It's been really windy but the good thing about it is we had a huge pile of cardboard that we wanted to burn over here and I have a ton of clothes that's laying out on the deck that I've been trying to dry out for weeks. The only thing is here in Boquete especially we're not fully done with the rainy season yet. The weather can change like that. John! I'm coming for you! I think the last time I was up on this roof was when we were actually installing it. Oh baby, it's a little scary. <laughs> you don't know what might be good to do now? Take the clamp off there once I put this one on. Okay. Get back to working a little bit. That came on real fast, real strong. Well, the rain stopped, so we're getting back to work. So I'm just going ahead and painting this whole face plate black with a protective paint. Would you call this a face plate, love? Like this big piece. A oh, what? A mistake plate. A mistake plate. <laughs> the mistake plate is on. It's welded. Plate. It's grinded. It's painted. 
So now George's over there, he's just clamping in the um, holding piece for the gutter. Just so we can put those up first and kind of see what it looks like before we actually screw everything in, install it. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Oh. First one's in. <laughs> For the Venezuelan guy. So I just cut a 10 foot piece of the gutter. We're gonna put this on the little hinges that we're attaching now, just to make sure we're doing every step very, very nice before. We get all the hinges up and then the gutter doesn't fit. So we're doing a little test drive right now. Well, we didn't finish the gutter, but we came really, really close. That'll be the first thing that we finish tomorrow. We just have to basically cut a little piece off and snap it into place. But I finished the night with a cold shower that we don't have many yeah. left. This is really now our big focus on getting our off-grid water system done. And then I spent about an hour in the workshop just hanging out in there, cleaning up. It just feels awesome being in there, being in uh, this thing that we spent months building now. Maybe it's like three or four months just building the structure part of it. So I just love being in there. Whew. It's been a good day, but it's pitch black now and got to put the chickies away and go to bed. Good morning. one mission of the day today. We meant to get that downspout connected to the top of this tank. Can I step one more? Huh? Where does it, does it, does it touch the bot? Like, where is it touching? So, this whole thing. Yeah. Like this line is at the bottom of here. We've been working on the puzzle of trying to figure out how to mount this PVC pipe so we can run it to these tanks. And we've been thinking about it for like the last couple of weeks. And I think this is the best way to do it. Kaylee's up here right now. She's gonna she's gonna weld a little metal piece onto the bottom of the beam because we need a place to receive the the bracket that's gonna hold the PVC. So George is going ahead and welding that little piece of metal that's gonna hold the hinge for the PVC. Usually I'd be like I'm welding, I got this. Cause welding has kind of become my new favorite thing. But this one we have to be really, really careful with because we just installed the roof of the bathroom there, which is what he's sitting on to weld. And if for any particular reason, a little glob of weld comes down, that metal is really, really thin. So it could burn right through. So I figured Jordan, Jordan can take that responsibility if <laughs> that ends up happening. <laughs> You guys might remember, it's almost a year ago now that we first installed these tanks. Yeah. And we, when we first got to the site, we're like, okay, the biggest thing is we need water. Yeah. And we need to have a lot of it. Especially for when we're, when we're building with concrete and everything like and that. And we have animals, and yeah. when we want to wash our brushes or wash our hands. Yeah. So this is what we've used. We've used this water for a year. A lot of you guys may have seen it a year ago. And now we're finally ready to like revamp the whole thing. Okay. Right, you feel you feel bad for the PVC. Yeah. You're, you're just making the sound that it makes. Yes. Do do All right. We need to just do a little bit more because I'm a little bent. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. And then you're gonna have to also put a 45 on your end. Okay. Okay, we scream. Ah! No, in the tube. No, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 46 and a half. 
Okay. Might be easier if you stand. I know that you scared, honey. You'll be all right. That's gonna, you'll be all right. I'm not standing on this. <laughs> Come on, though. Why not? What do you I think? I think it's good. Okay, we poo poo. This is perfect. Well, we got it, you guys. Everything fits perfect. This is like the hardest part, too. And now we have the fun part, which is to paint it all. <laughs> How would you call this profession? Uh, measure, measure, measuring tape. What do you think? Scratcher. This is what goes on behind the scenes. What do you think? It's just Kaylee screwing in a screw. I'm really taking care of the head scratching. Fingers crossed, it all goes in. Nice, rock and tight. You gotta be strong. Now is the right time to fart. You can fart, but just don't pull. Yeah, remember, just fart. And God just getting hit. Okay, do a little talk about your food here. What do you want me to do? You want me to tell you that you, you make good food? No, I just want you to tell what's in there. Can you guess all the ingredients? Asparagus. What? Asparagus? There's no asparagus. Broccoli. Yeah. Beets. Yeah. Rice. Chickpeas. Yeah. Soy sauce. Peanuts. Peanut or peanut butter. Uh, and love. You forgot lime and chili garlic sauce. <laughs> I can't believe There's it. So many things. <laughs> this is the father special. What do you got going on in there? Yeah, this is chicken, black Desserts. beans, and rice. With a little bit of love. Pep and love. Yeah. We're getting back to work now. What do you think about putting on some walls, honey? Some walls? Yeah, and look, we look at this plywood. And how nice would it be to start getting all of our tools up on the wall, all stored over there? Let's do it. getting my welding fix in today. <laughs> So this is a three inch Cariola, which is 
different than this. This is just a metal track wall stud. These are so much stronger. You see these, how wiggly they are? I've been told that when you put your uh, walling up, that these get a lot stronger. But because this is gonna be a workshop and because we're gonna have heavy stuff hanging from the walls, we're gonna have tools, we're gonna have screws. I want this to all be storage. That's gonna be a lot of weight. So I'm, I'm worried about these. So I'm gonna start adding in some Cariolas to add some extra strength. Two twenty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this one's this is right. Like this, we're not showing any beams. Yeah. This is all gonna be covered. Okay. Well, I gotta give it to my dad and a lot of you guys who told us these wall studs, once you screw in the plywood, is really, really strong. When you see it, when you see these wall studs and you see this, what I was thinking, I was like, man, this is not strong enough. But now that we have our first wall screwed in here, like this is so rock solid. It's crazy how it just like ties it all together. My dad told me this like five or six months ago. He's like, when you use metal studs, just know it's gonna, you're gonna think it's really flimsy, but it's actually really strong. He was right. I want to be able to see it so bad. There's so much water going. <laughs> come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> you hear it? Open it. What? Open it, open it. It's a bunch of water. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's by Brennan. Yeah. No. Nice. You're gonna feel so much better after. Dude. I'm telling you. I'm so ready to be done with this shh. Wim Hof. Just I'm over you. Your BS. Just start the breathing now, honey. Let's see it. <laughs> breathing in. <sighs> Letting go. Ow! <laughs> He's biting my foot. Do you wanna go take a shower with the mummy? What do you think? I see your broken meow, Mr. Meow Man. Where's your meow man? You always shower like a quarter of the time that I do. That's not true. Yes, you do. I'm just very efficient with my time. That's as bright as I can go on the camera. I'm <laughs> wait, trying, wait, 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 let me put my flashlight on. I'm trying to show you guys how cute this is right now. Oh. It's okay, good girl. Look how, <laughs> dude, the kitty is laying like Lola. You know, Lola puts her head in between her two paws and lays down. It's the idea. Oh, oh my man. god. Well, we're gonna end this video with this little view of these two. Oh, guys, we finally sleeping. finished Django Unchained. It was so good. Man, it was pretty gruesome. It was so gruesome, but it was a really good movie. Yeah. Well, this we're gonna say good night. We love you guys so, 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 so much. And we'll see you next time. See you next time.